What are the policies that are going to have to change here, Leah? Yeah, so this was a case brought by 36 state attorneys general, um, but the settlement was signed by all 50, so this is going to apply across the country. So Google o agreed to pay some money, but the bigger changes are ones to its Play Store. So now it's not going to uh, require companies like Samsung and Motorola, who make its phones, to have the Play Store be exclusively and the only app store available on phones. It's also going to allow developers to use alternative payment systems. So instead of just using Google Play on the phone, you might now be able to start using things like Square or Venmo or PayPal. Um, and they also will be allowed to tell consumers a little bit more about um, whether they can get cheaper op options elsewhere. So, for example, they could say, hey, you know, if you agree to sign up for our subscription online instead of here through the app, we'll give you a discount, a $3 discount. And so, you know, they might have a link to go to their website where you can get a cheaper price. All of this begs the question, of course, post the Epic Games loss, and of course they said that they're going to be fighting that one, but ultimately this is questioning the business model, not just of Alphabet's Google, but also of Apple, and also weaves into a whole feeling that antitrust is just on fire right now. Your beat in particular, the <laughs> fact that we're seeing case after case being brought, M&A falling apart. Am I right to feel that it's up the ante at the moment? Yeah, I mean, this is the thing about antitrust is it often takes a long time. So the cases that we're talking about that have come to trial this year were actually really filed or started back in 2019, 2020. So it, it's taken a long time, but we're finally seeing some of the results of the antitrust enforcement that has been sort of brewing up to this point. And now with the Biden antitrust enforcers who've been taking an even more aggressive approach, that's the... FTC and the Justice Department under Lena Khan and Jonathan Cantor, they've been challenging a lot more deals. Um, we had a story just earlier this week about how they um, challenged a record number of 50 deals um, last year, um, which is more than any since they started looking at deals b beforehand in the 1970s.